So here we have a car tire. And you can see there is no animation has created on this tire. Also we have a simple camera with default values and nothing fancy. And now if we render this you can see there is no blur effect on tire at all. Motion blur is pretty much already explained through its name which means blur generated from motion, right? So to create it, first we need to create a rotation animation for this tire to put it in a motion state. There are already so many tutorials available on YouTube which explains about creating drivers to rotate tire with car movement and they all are just right. But suppose if you only want a single render with static scene and only want tires to rotate, then simply follow this technique. Simply select the tire, open right side properties. Now mark the first animation keyframe in timeline by pressing I and select rotation. Now go to frame 200 and enter the rotation value about 3000 degrees on Y axis. And then press I on those rotation values to mark the second keyframe. But now rotation direction is on the other side. So add negative sign with 3000 degrees to reverse the rotation direction. And you can see we have a rotation animation. But if you play this animation, you can see the tire is rotating a little bit weirdly. So to create accurate rotation, simply open up another window and open a graph editor. Now press A to select all the keyframes and press numpad period button to zoom out on all the keyframe selection. So you can see we have some sort of interpolation in between the keyframes. So simply press right mouse button and select interpolation type as a linear. And now if you play the animation, you can see we have a smooth, accurate and linear tire rotation. So now simply select render engine to cycles and activate the motion blur. And render the scene on default values and there we go with the motion blur effect. You can also change the shutter type top to bottom like camera. Make sure you keep motion blur under the value of 1. Because I tried the value 1 and end up crashing my entire system. So be careful when you are using the motion blur algorithm. It is just a little bit too heavy to be handled by a blender system at full capacity. Similarly use EV rendering engine with motion blur and the results will be same. If you like the content, please like the video and share with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so then you don't miss any upcoming future videos. You can also follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Outstation. If you have something to say, feel free to leave in the comment section, I will get to that as soon as I possibly can. So thanks for watching, stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.